Hello and welcome and or welcome back to the channel. If you are finding this video because of the title, hello. And if you are a subscriber and this is just popping up in your subscription feed, I want to start with an explanation of this video and kind of what I'm doing, right? What I'm thinking, where I'm going, uh, the future of this channel and the future of my crypto videos, right? So I started this channel like almost six years ago, I want to say. And um, it's evolved a lot over time. One of the first things I used to do on this channel was make videos about cryptocurrency, um, you know, investments, ideas, you know, things I was doing, portfolio ideas, et cetera, et cetera, right? Market updates, whatever it was. Um, as I've grown, as time has gone on, uh, things have changed. You know, I started doing more book reviews and I started doing some like law school related content. And now that I'm in the Marine Corps, a lot of what I have been putting out is Marine content. But I want to first say that like I never sought out to be some sort of mill influencer, right? Like that was never a goal. That was not what I wanted to do. I started this channel long before I was in the military. And so I, I the purpose of this channel has always been to docu document my intellectual, professional and investment journey. But as time has gone on, I have realized that there's sort of a, a branding issue for a lack of a better term. And essentially like there's not a lot of congruence on this channel. So what I've decided to do is I've essentially decided that I'm going to make a new channel that is going to be docu or documenting, that's going to be dedicated to exclusively, you know, macro, crypto, digital assets and investing, right? And the name of that channel is going to be called uh, Lord of Meme Coins. So I'll have that channel like either pop up or maybe linked in the description or, you know, somewhere on my uh, channel where it should be easy to be found. Um, but yeah, so I'm starting a, a new channel and that's where I'm going to make all of my crypto like content and investment content. This channel, I still haven't figured out what I'm going to do, but um, it's going to be dedicated to something that's not necessarily related to crypto. So if you're finding this channel because of the search title title and you like this video, I encourage you to go, you know, find my new channel, my second channel, um, Lord of Meme Coins. That's that's the direction and title of the new channel, right? And so, anyways, this is going to be the last crypto video. Actually, it'll be the second to last because I have a really dope interview planned that's still in the works. Uh, I'm not going to say too much about it at this time, but um, so this will be the second to last video. But this will be the last video where I'm actually just talking about a crypto project on this channel. And the name of that project is Giga. I want to start by saying I have shilled, for lack of a better word, or talked about different investments I've made in the crypto space. A couple of different projects, but this one is special to me. This one feels uh, different. And I think it's because it is exclusively a meme coin. And I'm going to talk about why I like this, this coin, this project, this, uh, this community, and also kind of talk about meme coins as a whole and why my new channel is going to be called Lord of Meme Coins, right? Because I've started to uh, gain a, a new understanding of meme coins and maybe also just financial assets in, in general. It, it's sort of a, an evolving thesis, but the interview I have planned will will be very much dedicated to um, sort of the gentleman who has helped shape a lot of my thinking, right? And um, so meme coins for a lack of a, for a definition, I think it's best to start with like an understanding of what is a meme, right? And, and memes can be easily defined as symbols and people. Uh, I, I often talk about, you know, Christianity, the Oklahoma Sooners and Bitcoin are all memes, right? Because memes are ideas that that sit in people's, uh, you know, they're abstract ideas that sit in people's consciousness and they are a collective sort of uh, spiritual idea and or, um, you know, feeling really an emotion that's evoked. Um, that compels that, and it's a shared feeling, right? And it compels people to either act or behave or think or see things in a certain or particular way. And um, Elon Musk said it best when he said that like everything is a meme, right? When you think about Bitcoin as a meme, 
Bitcoin is a meme that stands for digital sovereign unconfiscatable store of value, right? And and when you think about the growth of Bitcoin over the last 11, 12 years, um, it started off as a, an internet subculture of, of cypherpunks. Um, it, it, from there, it grew to sort of the more libertarian, anarcho-capitalist type of people, right? And it really became a, sort of a, a, a cult-like movement around the 2017 era, uh, you know, where Bitcoin stood for for carnivore and and you know second amendment rights and even christianity to a certain degree right there was almost like this certain behaviors that defined what it meant to be a bitcoiner and it's grown from there and now bitcoin has entered the main stage and it's kind of one of those things where you know even nation states and and wall street you know blackrock has recently launched an etf i think people are saying it's the most successful etf in terms of inflows that's ever been created and so really this what what started off as a meme and what started off as a a cult for a lack of a better word and i don't use that that word in terms of like thinking of like masks and hoodies and things of that nature right uh, i i really mean it in terms of a collection of people who share some some sort of emotional or, or symbolic or rituals and rites of passage that that drives them towards a shared vision or a shared goal and when you think about bitcoin as a meme it, the the power of this meme has gone international right it's it's hit it's hit its prime time and many believe that we are currently in a bull market cycle i believe that is true this last week there was a, a big sell-off after you know the unwinding of the the yen dollar trade that was the time that i i decided to strike in the meme coin space and i have been buying particular meme coins but the only one i'm going to talk about on this channel is giga and the reason for that is because this is the meme coin that i feel the strongest about not only in terms of its long-term success and potential but because i do believe that meme coins are about uh identity they're about connectivity they're about you know uh, like i said a shared goal and a shared vision and, and a group of people who kind of have uh, certain or similar beliefs so giga is a meme coin that is launched on the solana blockchain it's not the first giga like meme coin attempt i think there was a giga that launched on ethereum but this one got legs right this one has some traction it's now sitting at like 150 million dollar market cap which in the grand scheme of things is really small but uh i believe that giga has the potential to go to at least a 10 billion dollar market cap and potentially you know i think that doge's doge's market cap i think is at its peak was 100 billion dollars and i think that giga can uh could hit that same level and the reason for this is the story of giga begins with a dev who you know launches giga on solana very soon in the community's uh, history he rugs as many meme projects do and uh, from there there was a community takeover right and giga is based on the giga meme it's probably going to be in the thumbnail the figure of the the photo of the giga chad who is my understanding he's like some bodybuilder in some foreign country right but he's a very popular internet meme and i think his origins as a meme stem in the 4chan community and he his image is very well known to me like i've seen it before um it wasn't ever something that like necessarily like spoke to me but in the context of a, a meme coin and a meme community and now my my understanding of what meme coins have the potential to be i think that it is um it's a very powerful meme and i think that you know the modern era right now you often see like the andrew tate types you know there's a a, a a lot of a loss within the younger generations for a sense of identity purpose um and there's also sort of a cultural pushback in terms of masculinity or whatever you want to call it right i think that giga is is going to serve as a community of men who are driven towards like masculine excellence and obviously that's kind of subjectively defined right but it is embodied in the image of this this giga chad when i joined the telegram community the first thing they asked you to do is you know drop and give you 30 push-ups 
and I've, you know, begin having conversations with members of the Giga community. And many of them talk about, you know, as Giga has grown and as the brand has grown and it's gotten more and more members and they've become more and more financially wealthy, they have found like their spiritual, you know, and behavioral actions starting to evolve and change with their, with their financial growth. And I, I think that when you join a community and the first thing they do is they tell you to do 30 push-ups, right? Um, it goes to show that there's a culture of physical excellence, which is something that if you are familiar with the history of my channel, you know, obviously I'm, I'm very much into physical fitness. What really made me have kind of an aha moment was an idea that had been placed in the back of my head long ago by Rao Paul, who's a famous investor and the, you know, I, th I think he runs a, the head of global macro investor, right? And he also runs Real Vision. Um, but he talked about what's being created by these digital tokens is sort of a new uh, like incentive layer on tops of businesses, right? So typically you have like the equity layer. Um, and then you have, you know, like a, I guess also like debts of a company or an organization or a person. But essentially what's being created is, uh, you know, the credit layer as well. Um, is a new layer called like the token layer. And I think that is correct. And you could think about the token layer as being the equivalent of if Amazon were to launch a coin, right? And they had like Amazon dollars. And then this coin became utilized within the Amazon community. You could use it to buy things on Amazon. Um, it was kind of like a circular economy, if you will. That along with watching how the giga community has started to build an actual company, a fitness company and a fitness brand from like the ground up of the token layer. So in the sense of Amazon, it'd be like a top down sort of like token layer creation. But in this new economy, in the digital economy, right? And in the, in the age of, of network states, I, I believe that Giga has the potential to become a very successful fitness brand that was built from the ground up off the token layer. And this is already starting to come true. So Giga has a fitness brand. They have a, like a luxury fitness apparel. Uh, they've had some limited launches, which I think is a smart idea because it very much gives like um, elite social, you know, has like kind of that luxury feel. I can't think of some of the brands because I'm not a big brand guy, but like I know a lot of uh, exclusive brands do this sort of thing like Supreme, for example, right? There can be strategic partners with Giga as well. And I've already seen some NFL players tweet about Giga and you could imagine Giga being a sponsor, right? And the, the Giga company, they've already talked about how, you know, they have plans for not just apparel, but also whether it be maybe Giga protein powder or Giga energy drinks, right? And just really cool branding opportunities. And I'll have the website to Giga linked and you can just kind of see the grittiness of the brand and also the like the luxuriousness of it as well. And so I think they're hitting this really like nice balance. And if they're able to continue to onboard more and more influencers, uh, maybe incentivizing them through the use of their token layer, and maybe even incentivizing them through the use of the equity layer, uh, you know, I think that will be uh, very, very good. And so I, I think one of the biggest risks I've identified in Giga is I'm very curious about the IP, the intellectual property and what could potentially be intellectual property sort of like, I guess, a dispute. But that's like one of the, the beauties of blockchain technology, right? Is it's extremely disruptive to the world order as we know it. Um, it disrupts many aspects of law, including IP law. You see, you know, IP lawyers always struggling with NFT and, you know, artistic rights and copyright and blah, blah, blah. Essentially, the problem becomes and why I'm willing to take on the risk of, of Giga is that the community is so decentralized. And I think at this point, like the community is large enough that it's hit escape velocity. Like anyone can use the Giga IP. Like anyone can go and I could launch a Giga t-shirt tomorrow and there's nothing stopping me from doing that. Um, and so 
it's it's decentralized, right? And it is uh, truly the beginning of what how I think many companies are going to be launched in the future, including social media companies, uh, particularly like online service companies, online service providers. I think they won't come from a top down sort of structure. It will come a bottom up. And uh, I think meme coins like now is the right time, right? Because as Wall Street finally starts to like figure out uh, Bitcoin and, you know, they've started to st shill Bitcoin to their wealthy investors, like Bitcoin was always meant to be like a, a populist movement, like a, a, the, a movement of the, of the little man. And um, essentially what we're seeing is that as Bitcoin becomes more and more financialized, the trenches of Bitcoin have moved towards like the normies, the regular, the retail investor have moved towards playing a new game because what has happened over the last 12 years is that crypto has become like very VC heavy, um, very hedge fund heavy. You know, there's been like a lot of private deals uh, where rich investors get in on the pre-sales, right? And then they're able to dump on retail after they do an unlock with, and they own 25% of the token. And meme coins are essentially a rejection of all that, right? It's, it's, it's the little man saying like middle finger to you. We are going to build our own thing. We don't care about your crazy tech. We don't care about whatever contraption or, you know, ZK roll up, you know, whatever it is, we don't care. What we care about is making money. I, I'm really excited to get into more of the philosophical underminings and the economic history behind the idea of late stage capitalism, because it's something that I've only recently started to um, wrap my hand around, head around. But I've, I've already previously understood the idea of financial nihilism, right? And financial nihilism is essentially just the idea that like, nothing is working in the world. Like, and this is the result of the Federal Reserve and governments being in control of money is that asset classes and valuations like nothing essentially makes sense. As we start to see the unraveling of the fractional reserve system and the credit theory of money, I believe that meme coins are going to emerge as a sub asset class of the digital asset space. And that they are going to do extremely well, particularly over the next like three to five, maybe even 10 years. And there's going to be a few like really big winners, the ones that are able to like really build community, uh, really build buy in the ones that are able to go viral, the ones that are able to attract the most diamond handed uh, holders and particularly, you know, retail and not necessarily like institutional investors. And yeah, I think we are just kind of at the like second inning of that, uh, what will be like a seven to 10 year uh, cycle. And I think that Dogecoin and SHIB were just like proof of concepts. I don't think they will be the, the biggest meme coins. Um, I'm not saying that Giga will be, but I think that Giga has a really good chance of being the biggest meme coin on Solana. And it's going to be the way I end my documentation of investing in crypto on this channel is talking about this one coin. So Giga, you better fucking send. And uh, yeah, I think I will do a really good interview. Hopefully by the end of this year, uh, the, the person I'm interviewing, he's a really big name. Uh, he's been sort of my intellectual tutor as I've been going through this journey someone I've heavily relied on, and I'm really excited about that. So yes, if you're interested in this type of content, if that's the reason you came to this channel, then please check out Staked Podcast, which is kind of how this all started, right? Or not how it all started, but Staked Podcast and Lord of Meme Coin. Staked Podcast is going to be more of like the more professional, essentially, where I'm going to do like more tutorials, like very serious interviews with investors, builders, uh, you know, thought leaders, KOLs, that sort of thing. And then Lord of Meme Coin is where I'm just going to talk about anything I want to as it relates to you know, cryptocurrency and, and honestly just kind of have fun, not be so serious uh, as given by the title Lord of Meme Coins. And so 
if you've already been part of this channel for like the military stuff and maybe some of the my book reviews and you know physical fitness and mindset and development and all those other things that I'm interested in like I'm I'm not going to this channel will remain that it just won't be like crypto and investment heavy anymore that will all be in stake podcast and lord of meme coin and so thank you guys for watching this hopefully I'll see you in the next video please leave the comments let me know what you think uh, it's been exciting just like kind of documenting this evolution here uh, and this is where I'm at most recently. It is August 8th, 2024. See you guys in the next video.